Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be sharing the open weight bout between Brucey and the Tiger. I hope you guys gonna like it. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. It's easy coach. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. El Tigre. All right, Griffin, you're losing a lot, man. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're, uh, you're in danger the entire time. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this match. Good punch lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Uppercut is blocked. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big kick lands. These guys throwing early. Fantastic. 
fantastic time to end. Potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Lee's got the full mount. Able to land a single ground strike there. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Leg kick. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, that'll quiet the storm. have gone by here in round one. Lee's back in full mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, he's got his back now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Ground and pound strike is true. There once again, strong work here by Lee. Back to the feet now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And that one certainly found the target. And now he's got the tie punch. Big knee land right from the bonus midsection. Straight punch land. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, second round underway. He loaded up there on that high kick. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got the single collar tie. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, man, head kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Big head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Big body plan. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Double leg. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Head kick attempt is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes off. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. There. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Nice head kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Real sneak body kick. Little kick. Round three left. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Oh, there's the head. 
head kick looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Liv. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. He's inside control now. He goes to the knee to the body, and it's there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Shot is blocked. Turn it Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful hit. hit. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free uh, piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. the takedown, no problem. Oh! Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position you call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Oh, fades upstairs and stands on it. What a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great hand. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike, if you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, 
just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. El Tigre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for me. You ready? You ready? So here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter gets a new sat down with him on Thursday. First words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness. Wow. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the heart. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice knee. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Left hand punch to the clinch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. Oh! Oh, sir. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Nice punch there. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, big left. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponents can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Strong work from the top of your body. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, lands the elbow there from top position. Surprised that one didn't open him up. All right, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big shots being landed on both sides here. come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh! Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the shoe. Oh. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Look at him whipping his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. And this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Back mount now. Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out. DC, a couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pump. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Jab there, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, oh, he's putting the sweep. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Round two coming up next. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. Right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready? You ready? Let's go All right, round two. Flips the shot. Big punch man over the top. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, big left hand there. Wow. That knee. That knee hurt him. Outstanding output on both sides. And now he lands a combination. He went high on that one. after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Brigliani has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce.